Even as Kenyans continue to doubt and debate as to how genuine the current fight or war against corruption is, things are still happening. That war against corruption is escalating. The recent arrest of uh, the managing director of Kenya Bureau of Standards, Bona Charles Ongwae, has really hit the headlines. But now it seems the war on graft has moved to parliament. Yeah, it has gone right inside the legislator's uh, territory. Yeah, and the latest is that we have the member of parliament for Nakuru Town West, Bana Samuel Arama, has been arrested. He was arrested on Friday. Yeah, and uh, what the rumor mills are saying is that the charge has something to do with a corrupt land deal. Yeah. Those close to Bonarama are saying that this is very unfair, extremely unfair, because he's being held at a police station, actually the police cells at the railways in Nakuru town. Yeah. They're saying that police cell is full of mosquitoes. And uh, the latest that is happening is that they're trying to rally his staunch supporters so that they picket uh, this particular police station, which, by the way, is very illegal. You don't do such things in front of a police station. Never ever. But the really fascinating thing here is that uh, it seems that uh, things have changed, yeah, very dramatically for the long-suffering ordinary citizen of Kenya. Because since last August, it's the public who has been very frightened, yeah. They've been frightened that if things go south, they will suffer, which is a fact. It is true that when there's civil strife, when there's uh, clashes with the police, it's not the Waishmi who suffer. It's not the members of parliament who suffer. These people already have a plan B, plan C, and plan D yeah, in place. And uh, some of them, even during the election manenos, had their families out of the country yeah, on alleged holidays. But now things have shit shifted very, very dramatically. What am I talking about? I'm saying that the people are living in fear now, yeah, looking over their shoulders all the time, yeah, imagining being arrested at any time. Our politicians, members of parliament, senior CSs, yeah, cabinet secretaries, in short, what were Cuba. And this latest arrest of a member of parliament of uh, uh, corruption charges <laughs> should uh, be something that has sent all MPs in, into serious panic or shall I say a vast majority of the MPs into very serious panic because they don't know what's going to happen next they don't know who's going to be arrested next now with all due respect and with empathy to the families and loved ones yeah, of members of parliament it is not a bad idea that the people of Kenya are not on the receiving end for once. Yeah, the general public, innocent people, the ordinary poverty-stricken Kenyans. Of course, they have other things to worry about. They always worries in this life. Yeah. However, those worries have nothing to do with police brutality, or being picked up by the police, yeah, or being targeted by the state, which, in my view, is a good change, because these people who represent us need to know what the rest of us go through. Those of us who are not members of parliament, they need to be reminded. Now, there's another fact and another truth, and it is this. A vast majority, a vast majority of legislators are corrupt. They make deals, they receive money. Yeah, they're corrupt. After all, we all know the chief reason why people want to go to parliament, the chief reason why any Kenyan would want to be elected to an office, is so as to enrich themselves. That is not a secret. And granted, our legislators have some of the highest salaries anywhere in the world, including the very developed rich countries of the West. Yes, our legislators get paid more. However, it is not the kind of money that one can get rich on. Yeah, so they have to get involved in other deals, corrupt deals. Now, get me right. I'm not saying Mr. Rama is guilty. No way. I'm just talking generally about legislators, MPs, where Shmiwa in the August House. Now, having said that, Pona Samuel Arama is not new to controversy. Ever since he was first elected into parliament in 2013 on an ODM ticket, Orange Democratic Movement ticket. This was the same legislator 
who was involved in some very serious uh, manenos yeah, surrounding the Public Accounts Committee and the ODM party and a man called Ababu Namomba. Ababu Namomba came up with a recording yeah, uh, whose purpose, but then Namomba is a lawyer, whose purpose was to prove the guilt of uh, Bwana Arama in a corrupt deal. It was claimed that as a member of the Public Accounts Committee in Parliament, he had received 200,000 shillings yeah, in order to make a decision in favor of a guilty person who the PSC were in, uh, investigating. Aram, of course, very strongly defended himself and said something very telling. He said 200,000 is peanuts to him. He said that when he's dressed well and inside his car, he's worth at least 8 million Kenya shillings. Therefore, 200,000 is peanuts. It's nothing to him. He would never receive such a small bribe. However, others said that this was not a small bribe. Because taken in the context of uh, somebody doing regular deals, 200,000 here, 300,000 there, 50,000 there, this tends to add up. And these are the kind of deals members of parliament get involved in all the time. But Arama pleaded his innocence. Yeah? And the fact that this did not go any further may suggest that uh, either when Arama is completely innocent or that he took measures to ensure that this case would go nowhere. We don't know. We don't have the facts. Yeah, therefore we can only speculate. But according to the laws of our dear Republic of Kenya, people are always presumed innocent until proven guilty. And therefore taking this law into account, Wana Samuel Arama is innocent. That is the truth. At least as far as that uh, Public Accounts Committee controversy is concerned. But something else very interesting, which may be related to what is unfolding currently, happened in uh, 2016. In that year, uh, there were a lot of defections from ODM and other opposition parties to the ruling Jubilee Party. Well over 30 defections in total. Now I want you to take very careful note of the following fact. Yeah, and I'll ask and I'll reveal the fact by asking you a question. Who was in charge of organizing all these defections? from the opposition yeah, who was setting the strategy implementing and executing to get legislators to cross the floor answer deputy president william samoe ruto what in other words this is a person linked closely to the william ruto camp who has been arrested that we can safely say now, in the hotly contested uh, elections in Nakuru uh, Town West uh, constituency, which is per perceived to be uh, an opposition uh, stronghold, was Bonarama. He got 29,682 votes against ODM's Ochoki, yeah, Isoke Ochoki, who garnered 25,071 votes. The difference was about 4,000 and something votes. Very close race. Bonochoki filed a petition which was thrown out on uh, February 2018. Yeah, so Rama was sitting very pretty, yeah, with all petitions behind him, safely elected before this latest uh, disaster happened in his life. We, of course, wait to see what will happen next. This is very high wire drama, if I may say so. Until next time. This is Chris Kumekucha.